What's up guys? We are going to try to make some soup today. I don't have any broth, but I am going to uh, fry up this chicken, put a bunch of vegetables with it, put some water on it. We'll see if we can make some kind of soup. Bell peppers in here. A little bit of frozen vegetables. A little bit of green onion. A little bit of black bean and white corn. They have so much of it left. A little bit of cayenne pepper. A little bit of garlic powder. Okay, I put some egg noodles in there and I had to switch pans. My pan wasn't big enough. I don't know what I'm making. I'm just putting everything together. We're going to add a little low sodium B8 juice to it. Well, I'm going to have to say that looks pretty darn good. Good morning, everyone. We're going to go down to the little country store out here and grab some diesel. I'm borrowing a little car to do it. So let's go. Let's go see how much this diesel has risen in the last week. Chattanooga boy had a dollar and a dime Headed out from Nashville on the hard rock line I'm working on that old steamboat and learned to ride and steam When my feet had touched dry land, how happy I did feel All right, let's go get some groceries from the other little market. Working for that dollar, but it never adds up at all. Coming around the river bank where the old train was so sane. The very next thing you hear from me, I've been tied to a ball and chain. And I don't know where I'll be But if it wasn't for that old sheriff I'd be back in Tennessee Playing cards and crap games Not looking for the score And if I ever get back home again I'll never own no Hello, Doc. He says, I want to go outside, Mom. It's raining. Let me in. Let me in. It's raining, buddy. Hi. Set the groceries in already. Let's get these put away. Just turn the heater on so you guys might hear it coming on. It's pretty loud when it starts. But I'm going to put some of these frozen vegetables or frozen fruit in a smaller bag so I can put it on the fridge side and use it with my yogurt. I'm trying to get my hands all fruity looking, but that's okay. All right, let's put these in here. All right, guys, I'm going to make a second cup of coffee and then we'll sit down and have a chat. Sometimes you just got to have that second cup. We're gonna grind up some beans today. I had left these at my daughter's house last time I was there babysitting, and I got them back the other day. So now we're gonna have us some fresh coffee. And Doc just got into the trash. I don't know if you could hear that. Let's go get him. What are you doing, buddy? Hey, leave it alone. Stay out of the trash. Turd. 
No, don't get back up here and get... No, stay out of there. <sighs> He's doing a little... You're just really being ornery because you've been trapped in the van for a few days, huh? Yeah. Stay out of that trash. What's up, everybody? I have my vent open. It's starting to sprinkle again. I opened it for the light for the video, but I think I'm going to have to close it down because it's starting to sprinkle. But uh, anyway, yeah, I just uh, got my coffee done. Uh, nothing like a good cup of coffee on a rainy, rainy day. I had to check the mail. I got my new cord that that's this is how I plug my van in when I uh, stay at a campground where you can plug in. I got a, had to order a new cord and got some Q-tips in the mail. Uh, ordered a bunch of stuff from Amazon. Wednesday, I'm going back into town and I'll be staying for two nights this time because I'll be babysitting for a couple of days with the grandbabies. So yeah, we'll be back at the campground here in a couple of days. Today is Monday. I'll probably load this video up Tuesday. I've been trying to put a video up every day, but I'm falling a little bit behind. Do you see how much the diesel prices are? $5.95 a gallon. Say what? That's crazy. That's the least filtered of all fuels. And you know what really sucks about that is the diesel being so high. It affects everything because everything is hauled in by truck. I mean, it's crazy. They're gouging us is what they're doing. Okay, I had to shut it. It started sprinkling pretty hard. Yeah, this, uh, this is crazy weather for May in Oregon. But maybe that means it won't be such a bad fire season. I'm really hoping that it's not. Last year wasn't as bad as the two years before. But I don't know if you guys remember, but two years ago, it was like uh, very toxic air uh, where I park at because of the, the fires. And I really wasn't able to take off and get out of the, the area. I had to stay in this area. But I was surrounded uh, in, in, the, in this area here in Southern Oregon by fires uh, all the way around me just about. It was horrible. The toxicity of the air was was way bad, uh, very dangerous. I stayed in my van and kept an air conditioner going that kind of filtered the air. Hey, stop. Cat's getting into everything today. Uh, but yeah, so I'm really hoping that with all this extra rain that we're getting and some extra snow, I hope that it uh, makes uh, fire season not so bad. Uh, yeah, because Oregon and California has had a couple of tough years with it for sure. Dude, they just won't stop today. That's Whoopi getting into the paper I just opened up uh, from around the extension cord. Uh, today, all I'm going to eat for dinner uh, is I'm making me a sandwich. I'm, I'm trying to stay away from sandwiches because of the bread, but... I'm really wanting a sandwich today, so I think I'm going to make me a sandwich. I have to get on my bike here. I'm waiting for another break in the spring. Buddy, waiting for another break in the rain because I want to take a quick bike ride. Uh, my Apple Watch, I have several friends that compete with me on exercises. And uh, meant to be uh, RVing's daughter sent me an invitation for competition. She's quite a bit younger, but that girl works out all the time. And she works hard, and I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to get slaughtered in this competition. But, it, you know, it does help me, uh, make me want to get up and go and do things. And, and so, yeah, that starts tomorrow, but I'm going to make sure and get all my rings closed on it today so we start off good tomorrow. So I think I'm going to take a quick bike ride. I have about 10 more minutes to finish out my exercise ring on it. So I'm going to get that done, and then I think I'll come back and uh, make a sandwich and do a few things around the van. I mean, like, there's not a whole lot to do when it's pouring down rain like this. Uh, there's only so much you can clean in the van. <laughs> but I do need to do some laundry, though. All right, guys, I'm not going to keep you on here much longer. Thanks for hanging out with me. It's always fun. And don't forget, now, Saturday night, uh, Ava Potterfield and friends will be doing a pajama party. Look for the the link for it in under Ava Potterfield and friends. I'm going to try to be on the show. I'm going to try to be back at the van in time to be on the show with her and we'll hang out and have some fun. It's always a lot of fun at Ava's and so she's going to have a panel and so we're going to do that. So I hope to see you guys there and I will share the link for that uh, specific live uh, later in the week when it gets closer. So you guys watch for it and be sure and join her for a party on Saturday night. Pajama party. Show up in your pajamas. That's what we do. All right, guys. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Peace out.